Hello Internet to Desai Azure Octave, and this is Let's Play Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. I'm Azure Octave, and we're starting out here in Fancy Pants Bay, much like we always do. Um, and this episode, we're going to do a more complex uh, transfer of goods. Uh, so these goods, we have zero <laughs> crates of goods created last year. So this might just be a very, very <laughs> expensive... Um, uh, <laughs> Very expensive train of uh, transferring uh, for for almost no gain or zero gain. Um, we need to get more oil uh, into this uh, oil refinery here before we can actually, you know, really start to pull in a decent profit on this. So what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of scanning around, hoping against hope that oh my god look at that <laughs> that's horrible <laughs> um <laughs> wow uh hoping against hope that i can find some kind of uh oil well and it's, i realize now that that's kind of a futile effort which is okay um what do we have for industries here i'm i'm hoping here look we have some uh oil right here that we have just a tiny amount and really this should be producing goods because this is going to here and since that goes to here we can then go to there so what the hell am I doing up here all right let's see if we can't create just create a couple trucks maybe one goods truck a uh, new vehicle we do we do the goods truck um, Oh, I didn't get that one here. We're going to buy this vehicle. We're going to send it to uh, the Dorks in the East. We're going to tell it to make a full load. And then head to Dorks in the Docks. Because I think that was what I set up in one of my most popular videos of this series, which was just simply using the boats. Um, and we set that up, and I said I might have done that. <laughs> the next video, but I didn't end up doing that, so apologies all around. Um, we'll see how much we can pull in with this here. How many goods are you transporting? Oh my goodness, that, oh no, 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 that's all bags of mail. That's, that's no problem there. Uh, we have 21 great crates of goods in this particular, uh, factory here that it's producing. Before now, I've never actually picked up any of the goods, so... We'll try doing that right now. The truck's there. We got John John Johnson, who's who's got a new lease on life, um, and he we we rehired him, and now he's just waiting here, docks in the east. Uh, we have zero crates of goods now, and dorks. Really, you're going down even further on oil production. That's great. That's that's wonderful. Here comes the one truck for its yearly uh, profit of or biannually biannual delivery from this horrible oil wells here that has completely run dry. They're just sitting there with their straw, making this horrible gurgling noise that dorks in the the, the dorks in the inns um, have to deal with all day. That's just s sucking and sucking and sucking. <laughs> Um, when this delivers, this oil well should produce goods, and then it should dump into the truck that will then head over across the street <laughs> to where we can accept goods. Um, who knows why the the people of the city can't, you know, walk right over to the oil field, but to to pick up their goods, but they're they're so lazy, they're so goddamn lazy that they can't even conceive of that being a thing. So, so we are, we are now have the monopoly on this particular um, uh, oil wells uh, goods procurement there. So we're we're making money now. We get three hundred ninety eight dollars off of those goods. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> um, will there be no place to make goods? <laughs> uh, this does that that makes steel. And what is steel used for? Steel can then be delivered to factories. Holy cow. And the factory, how many goods has this produced? Zero. Zero goods um, for the factory. Well, 
Uh, that's no good. <laughs> Having no goods completed is no good. What are you doing? You're you're an ore truck that is just waiting to make steel, and you've made a bunch of steel. Uh, and that's that. You you've made a horrible mess out of Chenton Hill, uh, Chet Hill. How how do the Chet Hillians like you? Oh, they like you fine, Pathzilla. All right, fine. All right, all right. So that's fine. Uh, the factory here is producing goods, but we have no place to deliver it to. So since we have so much money in the bank, holy cow, we might actually try to do some delivery from this far away, even. Uh, um, oh, here's some oil. Uh, is that... is there any way that... There's another oil field over here, too! Is there any way we can get that over to our oil refinery way down there? Not really. Ugh. Having all these competitors is a little bit stressful because you see all these opportunities to make projects and they just, they just don't pan out. <laughs> maybe, maybe the oil well over here isn't doing so well because of, uh, because we haven't been producing or transporting the goods from here. So maybe, maybe we can still work on that, uh, to get deliveries down to here. So, I said I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna freaking do it. I'm gonna get another dock up, uh, which can go right here, uh, right there, and that makes a horrible farting noise, <laughs> uh, that we will then, do, uh, do up, we will get a special, special tiny train, uh, will come out of here, we'll call it the dinky train, uh, because it it really has no place in this world. Uh, it's it's going to all it's going to do is it's going to stem money more 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 money is going right down the right down the toilet. Um, we're gonna make it the, the most crummy train ever. We're gonna make it a tiny little train, and we're gonna f give it one goods car because I don't I don't think this is ever going to need more than one goods car. And here's where we start to get a little bit more elaborate here. So, okay, we're going to tell it to go to Dracula and make a full load. Well, uh, yeah, full load any cargo. Next up, we're going to then tell it to go to Dracula Docks. Go to Dracula... Do oh. <laughs> uh, I need to make a train station down in Dracula do Docks. <laughs> uh, kaboom. And we're going to take away... No, we're taking away... And that's what those two tools are used for here. Um, the, oh, actually, if you click on this and then on this, it will specifically remove just tracks from those locations, uh, depending on how it's set up at the bottom here. Um, we need we need a train station. We just need one. We need it to go. Yes, I know we don't have much orders. We don't have any orders really for that. Um, we're gonna make it go like this, and it f needs flat land because uh, we're gonna make it two. It's going to be this tiny little thing here. And so now Dracula Docks will accept uh, trains and uh, boats. Uh, <laughs> trains and boats. Uh, and so now we can tell it to, once it's full, all right, go to Dracula Docks. Uh, Dracula Docks, you have to tell it to unload. Uh, no loading. Uh... We're going to unload all, unload and leave empty, uh, at Dracula Docks, which is good. We need it to do that. Uh, we're then going to create a new ship, a cargo ship, by ship. And then we're going to tell it to go to the Dracula Docks, and we're not going to have it full load because this thing can hold... How much can you hold? You can hold... There's like 160 crates of goods, and this is only ever going to hold... Uh, how many can you hold? Uh, capacities, there we go. 25 crates of goods. So we will be here for years if we tell this to do a full load uh, before this ship ever leaves. So we're going to say, go to Dracula Docks. Uh, don't go to the ship deco depot. Uh, and then just straight up go back to uh, Dorks in the Docks, because that will be more uh, cargo... Uh, that'll... yeah. 
um, that'll be the uh, cargo rate. So what we've basically told it to do is to go from being a train load to a ship load, and then the ship load will then go all the way over to Dorks in the Docks, because there's a completely open sea for it to be. <laughs> and the other good thing about using ships is that they will never be impeded by competitors building stuff stupidly in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, and so that's that's how we got that to go. Uh, and so now this is full of 41 crates of goods, and it's got its... Oh, that might be enough. And so this is just dumping off goods into Dracula docks. It's going to complete it, and then it's just going to head back into Dracula for another load. And that's okay. We, we can have this one doing multiple loads back and forth. This train will never, ever, ever gain a profit, because it's never going to deliver anywhere. Uh, it's up to this giant tanker to... Uh, get its slow butt over from Dracula docks all the way back to Dorksena. So once once every year, again, the biannual... Or no, no, this one is the one that's doing more, more active deliveries here. Um, ooh, Winona accepts goods now. Um, and that's due... I mean, there, you, that's, that's one of the cool things about Transport Tycoon, is as you work with cities, they start to realize that there's cash flow going back and forth through these uh, little industries here and they will eventually grow bigger, and, and you'll see that some of your old stations will suddenly be more valuable to you because you've, you've, you've helped the city grow into a bigger, more thriving metropolis here. Um, I'm a little worried about geeks in the... because... And, and to that note, um, I'm a little bit worried about geeks in the... because geeks in the doesn't have a lot of directions to expand, and so it's just going to stay in this kind of quagmire if we just let it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help them out by building them a bridge to get out of that city a little bit um, and to expand over across the, the river there. So we're going to make a suspension bridge for 455. We're going to connect up this road. Uh, no, like, like this. <laughs> uh, so that it has a place to grow, a place to actually do something with um, instead of just being landlocked thanks to... Uh, the horrible uh, business of of uh, in, uh, <laughs> industry directory. No, we want this one here. The no cab, uh, no cab, which has a company value of two million dollars, two billion dollars. No, two million dollars. Whereas I have a company value of two hundred twenty-six dollars. Oh my gosh, they are they are so going to run away with us here. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. We we're, we'll accept that. Um, that that's I've I don't really strive ever to be one of the top competitors. Um, I like just doing little things like this where I'll set up cute little uh, transports and I'll just watch the little cities grow as I make them and see if I can't get them to be much bigger than they ever expected to be. Like Chumbawamba, Chumbawamba. I want to be really cool with me. Like, see, I'm good. Choo Choo is very good. But whatever, Chumbawamba, you will learn to love me, and I will make you love me. <laughs> um, so what's next? What's next on the agenda? Let's 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 help out Winona a little bit. They're they're not gonna like this for sure. Uh, we're gonna dump those down and uh, throw some roads in their direction, which are gonna work a little bit better than what they were naturally growing for. That's that's a little bit weird that it uh, how it was growing there, but that's okay. So, we've helped Geeks and, the, and Winona, and we continue to pay a lot of attention to Fancy Pants here. Um, have you done anything yet, Crazy Boat? Gosh, you're taking a while. Um, <laughs> so, so what's next? Um, I have, I think I have some positive cash flow here. My max loan has gone up, so I could potentially go even further into the hole uh, to make a giant... Uh, project or something like that, but we're, we're not going to do that for right now. Plums in the thumbs, I don't know why I keep looking over here. Uh, your face heights. <laughs> um, your face, they're, they're delivering all kinds of steel, they're delivering uh, <laughs> this guy still hasn't figured out how to get around the fact that his uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> There we go, there's a little disaster there. 67 die in the uh, horrible train wreck 
up in Sled Sledwood. Sledwood will never forget the the terrible things that happened with the Sledwood Airport. And one of the other things that happened um, with get, having disasters like that happen is they the the city's reputation of you suffers. So 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 buttons. Um, what are we gonna do next? Here here finally comes the uh, ship four, which we're gonna name. <laughs> Look at that terrible. <laughs> We're gonna change it to be the uh, the the good ship, the SS dollar signs. Yeah, SS dollar signs, <laughs> and that that's gonna be our flagship, uh, the SS dollar signs, and it's finally going to arrive at the uh, 48 crates of goods that are en route from Dracula. Um, they're gonna be loaded up in the cargo ship as it slowly trundles into the docks uh, and finally eventually make its way into 6, 12, 18, 25, all right, yep, and that's all it's going to get. <laughs> Off it goes, the crates of goods containing toys and and bread beds um, are just, they're, they're going to be all rotted and stuff and it's going to be horrible. So this, this, this better pay off some year. Um, we got <laughs> citizens celebrate. Yep, it's already left the docks there, slick. Um, so, so yeah, uh, this is gonna head all the way over through this area and head back to the docks, uh, dorks in the docks. So, um, what are we at here? We're at 16 minutes again. Seems like a good enough time as any to call the video. I'm Azure Octave. If you like the video, make sure you're favoriting and liking and all that jazz, if if, it, if appropriate. If you don't like it. Well then we're just going to send all these cosplayers from geeks in the out to your house to to make you a delicious cake, a birthday cake. So even if it's not your birthday and then it'll be all awkward and stuff because you won't know what to do um with the cake. And yeah, so um I'm Mr. Active. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later on. Bye.